Hello, my name is Dr. Carl Moore and I'll be your instructor for Mechanical Systems 1. In Mechanical Systems, we study mechanisms. Um, you may be wondering what is a mechanism? A mechanism is a device that transmits or modifies motion. So in a lot of ways, this class is a study of motion. Um, mechanisms are not machines. But machines use mechanisms. So let me give you an example. Um, many of you may be familiar with, or this is kind of old, so maybe not, but here we have a um, manual egg beater, and you see it's a mechanism that transmits the turning of the crank with, from the human's hand into spinning of the beaters here which end up beating the eggs, right? Frothing the eggs. So that's an example of a mechanism, right? It's manual, relatively low power, right? But something that's similar to that, but is a machine, would be the electric cake mixer, right? So it uses some of the same types of components as the egg beater, but it's much higher power, right? So whereas a mechanism um, modifies or transmits power, a machine really magnifies power, okay? It magnifies that motion. So what are some of the other things that we'll look at in this course? Um, we'll um, talk about engines and engine components. Here we have an example, let me just slow it down here. We have an example of some pistons. The pistons are the mechanism and what we will do is we'll study, um, for example, the position equations for these pistons or um, the velocity equations, how fast these pistons are moving. These pistons would be in a machine, right? The pistons are a mechanism, but the machine that they would be in would be an engine, right? Maybe be the engine for a car, as an example. We'll also look at tools. Um, here we have a pair of vice grips. And we'll look at how the various parts of this vice grip are used so that they can magnify the force of the human's hands so they can really get a tight grip, in this case, on this um, screw that he has here. Um, another thing we'll look at, and this will be kind of early in the course, is we'll look at degrees of freedom and how different components can be brought together to create the degrees of freedom that we need in a particular mechanism. Now here, we have um, the mechanism, which is these yellow links you see here, right? You see a lot of yellow links. How do they hook together to give the bucket for this backhoe the degrees of freedom that it needs? Of course, all these mechanisms combined, they hook together, right? to create a machine, and in this case, that machine is the backhoe. Another thing we'll look at, oh, I didn't even press play on this one. Let me just show you guys. Well, it's not like you haven't seen this, right, as you drive down the road at any given day. And so that's the motion of the backhoe. And so we'll study that. And the last thing I have here for you is this cam mechanism, right? And so you oftentimes will see cams in mechanisms. And in this particular mechanism, you see the, uh, the blue cam here as it rotates, it moves the green bar in a particular uh, way that is useful for a sewing machine. And so we'll look at the equations that are used to design the shape of this cam so that you get the output motion that you want. Now I want to give you guys a quick view of our Canvas site just to show you what you'll see there. Um, this video that you're watching is located in this Welcome to Mechanical Systems 1 link. And these are all kind of the introductory things you'll find for the class. So for example, here it tells you everything that is in Canvas for this particular course. You have the syllabus here, the ABET syllabus there. Um, my office hours, um, Zoom IDs, uh, and this shouldn't say lab, it should say office hours, Zoom ID, um, some assignment submission requirements, and some other items that may be helpful to you. Um, I have scans of the first couple of chapters for the book, 
and then I move into the units, which are the chapters. And so we have chapter one, which is an introduction, um, chapter two, and chapter three, and so on. In each chapter, or each unit, I have a multimedia set, which are um, lecture notes um, that I am, you can see me writing these notes and, or um, you can also hear my voice. Um, I also have PDFs of the lecture notes that I'll be presenting in class. Um, the multimedia set and the multimedia lecture notes are very similar items and so you'll, here is the software to play um, the multimedia notes that you'll find here. Um, I also have my homework assignments, the lab assignments that go with any particular um, chapter, and these learning assessments. These are short reading quizzes that you can take multiple times after you read a particular portion of the textbook. Um, every time you take them, I always um, keep the highest score. And so if you're not happy with the first time you do this reading quiz, um, you can take it again and again. Um, and usually they only they take five or ten minutes um, at a time, so they're very short. In the Assignments tab, you'll find all the different things that are due, right? And so we have um, homework assignments, um, we have the learning assessments, and again, those are those short reading quizzes. And after that, we have the labs and the group design project, which will begin um, a little bit towards the middle of the course, and we have the exams. And that's pretty much it for the Canvas um, site. Um, I look forward to teaching you in this course and getting to know each one of you guys. Take care, and thank you for watching.